the distance of these pens is now the greatest when we are on the outer side of the log and scribing the group then I will put 1.5 millimeters less distance to the pen like this. and it gives just a little bit smaller uh, result like this but on the other side of the log so now I will go around the log and start scribing the next In this video, an innovative technique of scribing a handcrafted log is introduced. The basic problem in all log building, including industrial manufacturing, is that the log shrinks unevenly on different sides of the wall. Before carving a log with hand tools is a phase where the lower log's dimensions are transferred to the upper log with a scriber tool that transmits an exactly straight vertical drawing to the upper log. Carving the log will proceed by cutting off all the wood matter between the scribings of the upper log. Then the smallest level distance, making the notches the tightest, so it will be something like 3 millimeters to the outer side of the groove and 1.5 to the inner side. Our measurements of different case studies show that the inner side of the log enters up to a terminal moisture content of around 14%, whereas the outer side stays in around 17%. Our theory was that this difference of the moisture content results uneven shrinkages on different sides of the log. The differences of the shrinkages were later measured with a tapered gorge and the data was processed to show the average differences of observed gaps on different sides of the group. The results reinforced our theory. There is a gap in the groove on the warm side of a wall in most of the heated log buildings made until this day. According to the latest knowledge, sealing of the construction elements should be airproof on the inner side of a wall. However, the current method using semi-dry logs is not sufficient to ensure a balanced solution to the ceiling of a log building. Actually, it is the opposite that happens in log walls after a few years of living in a building. The outer side of the wall stays tight, but the inner side shrinks loose. The steam flow from inside the building does not encounter a solid barrier before the outer edge of the group. These notifications convinced us to start using a different space in the scriber on the cold and on the warm side of the groove. Our new technique gives a structure where the groove is tight only on the warm side of the wall 
in the beginning. The outer side's edge on the groove has around 1.5 mm gap. Once the building gets ready and heated for two or three years, the inner side's more radical shrinkage evens up the contact of the groove edges to the lower log. After two years in heated conditions, the different edges, the outer and inner edges of the groove, will enter to a different level of shrinkage, and thus it will get even this 1.5 millimeter difference in the groove origin now will disappear by two years of drying and these edges in the notch will bite in now inside the crossing log because of the compression from this slide here and later when the uh, crossing wood will shrink <coughs> it will bounce a little bit back like uh, gum but just a little bit, little bit. So it will end up quite like now. I prefer to make the upper side of the notch before scribing the log. And since sometimes occurs this kind of gaps that uh, we can still quite easily fit with just a regular saw and then Tighten it. That's it. So I am measuring the gap on both sides of the groove, and this shows three millimeters. So it should be one and a half on the other side since it's drying more and shrinking. Here 3.3 maybe and here two and a half so approximately three millimeters. Let's go to see the other side of the log. Okay we are on the inner side now. These are uh, this is only two millimeters thick, so we can't measure sh smaller gaps, but it is just two, uh, maybe less than a two. This is uh, two and a half, uh, two, and two. So it's something like two. There's one millimeter difference. There should be one and a half. Uh, actually, actually, I scribed it this way. 
but uh, it's not totally straight. I suppose it is one millimeter or half a millimeter, too much like that. But it's enough for me.